Hey there, so you hear the chord progression of a song and you like the chords, or you have a sample but you don't know how to find a chord for that sample. I'm going to show you how to fix all of this with one free app using your smartphone, either iPhone or Android. If you're new, hit the subscribe button and let's get started. Alright, so this is the app, right? It's called Chord AI. It's available on Android or iOS, C-H-O-R-D-A-I. It's available for free and it's the premium version which is really affordable, which I advise you get if you can afford it. Alright, so when you open the app, you're going to see an interface similar to mine where you can either upload the song that you want to detect, the chord progression, or you can go through your SoundCloud or YouTube and there's a special feature which I really like, the fact that you can actually use the listing feature that is the microphone at the bottom, right? You can just hit the listing feature and you can actually point your phone to the sound source and it's going to start detecting the chord while it's listening to the sound plane. So. Now, yours may not have your piano outlook yet. That's fine. All you have to do is click the top icon right here. So make sure you're selecting piano because sometimes it may be in guitar, right? Or some other instrument, but make sure it's selected as piano. And then while, while that is done, then you can just simply press your red button. So I have a sample right here. So now I'm going to use the app to detect the chords. All I have to do is just point my phone microphone directly at the speaker. Do not go too close to the woofer, just like about a feet or two feet away from the speaker so you can capture most of the audio um, frequency, all right? So now I'm going to hit the record button and then play. <laughs> All right, so you can see it's done analyzing the chord progression. One thing I like about this app is that it tells you the root key, which can be very helpful, especially if you want to transpose the key later on, or yeah, maybe you want to move to the, a key that you're more familiar with when you want to play more melodies, right? So it's showing us that it's an A minor, all right? And also the tempo is not always accurate, so do not take the tempo seriously, okay? All right, so you can see we have it in the mid section right here, that is the keys. And if you can't find this in your own interface, so you have to just click the top, icon right here make sure it's selected as piano right because sometimes it can be in guitar so when you have that you can see we have the notes when you click them but let's play the audio to see if it actually rhymes with the progression that is giving us okay so we're going to press play at the bottom right corner If yours is not bringing out audio, all you have to do is tap this um, top right corner as well. Toggle, off, toggle on and off the volume, okay? Just toggle it on or off to get the sounds coming in. So you can see this seems accurate, all right? So now let's go into FL Studio and replicate the notes because you can see the notes right here. G, B, D, F, A, C, A, C, E. They are well labeled, well colored. So we can just paint the same notes on our piano roll or your piano roll of your digital audio workstation depends on what um what you use all right so now let's get into fl studio and see how we can bring this out as midi so we are going to create a new pattern all right have it in here then go into our piano roll all right so now the first note is um ace then slides to gbd then slides to fac so let's see how we can paint that in, okay? A, C, E. So let's reduce that a bit, okay? I think it may be too long. Then let's listen. So extend it a bit, A, C, E, then G, B, D. Then we'll reduce the length. Then F. Then F, A, C now. 
ACE, GBD, then FAC. F A C. All right, so it's let's spray it all across now and hear how it sounds. Perfect. So now let's just add a quick drum loop and see how it sounds. So if you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to leave me with a thumbs up so other people that need videos like this can easily find it right here on YouTube and hit the subscribe button to be up to date with more of my tutorials that are helpful. See you soon. Cheers.